He madring kila ma tulunga pala mitya daya moda diko Maudyang na kaniva sinang bhaya pararva kya riva prartita Nili shambara nila mambara talang jambu palamaya yang Tang mun changir mambarang param rishan lambo darapatumam Ai giri nandini nandita medini Vishva vino dini nandanute Giri vara vindya shiro dhiri vasini Vishnu vilasini jishnu nute Bhagavati he shitti kanta kutumbini Bhuri kutumbini bhuri krite Jaya jaya he mahisha sura mardini Ramya kapardini shaila sute Salutations to you, O Divine Mother. I invoke you, who are the daughter of the mountain, by whose presence the whole world is filled with joy, for whom the whole world is a divine play, and who is praised by Nandi, who dwells on the summit of the Vindhyas, the best of the mountains, who gives joy to Lord Vishnu as his sister, and who is praised by Lord Indra. O Goddess Bhagavati, who is the consort of the one with blue throat, Lord Shiva, who has many, many relations in this world, being the Cosmic Mother, and who has created abundance in the creation. Victory to you, victory to you. I take refuge in your auspicious feet, O destroyer of the demon Mahishasura, who shines with beautiful locks of hair, the daughter of the mountain. Namaste. So this is one of my favorite prayers. Stotram means prayer. And Mahishasura was a great demon. And Mardani means the killer. So she killed this great demon, Mahishasura, who was disturbing the whole universe. Therefore, she got the name Mahishasura Mardini. <laughs> But there's a lot more in this verse, so I'm going to unpack it here. Um, she is the Divine Mother. Shiva is the father of the universe, and she is the mother. So she has relations with every living being as their mother, as their protector, as their creator. And and eventually as their destroyer. So this is the Divine Mother. She has many, many different aspects, some of which are kind of frightening. Huh? But that's only because we're attached to this existence. And of course, we know the existence is actually just temporary and illusory. Uh, but because of our attachment, we are invested in it, and we think it's very important. <laughs> so when our life is taken away at the time of death, we lament. But actually, there's no reason to lament because we are merging back into the Divine Mother, who, whose presence, by whose presence, the whole world is filled with joy. Now, if you chant this prayer, which I highly recommend. We've done a video on the whole prayer. Uh, but even just this first verse, if you can learn it and chant it, you know, as an offering to her, uh, get a picture of her or something like that, 
and offer this prayer to her, you will feel so much joy. This is my experience. This prayer is very powerful. Uh, I used to like to chant it first thing in the morning because it would get the day off to a joyful start. And this is the property, this is the natural uh, quality of the Divine Mother, is that she's full of joy. To her, this whole universe is just a play. It's just a sport. It's not to be taken seriously. And if you do, then you will suffer. Huh? If you don't take it serious, if you're unattached, then no matter what happens, hey, it's okay, you know, because there's always another act in the play. So in the same way, there's always another birth, there's always another body, there's always another world or a planet that we can take birth on. And if we're fortunate, we can go to her planet, which is the very, very nicest of all the heavenly planets. In fact, it's not even a heavenly planet. It's beyond them in the pure creation called Vaikuntha, which means no anxiety. Why is there no anxiety in the pure creation? Because it exists for the whole duration of the universe. Even the heavenly planets like Indra Loka and Mahar Loka and uh, so many others are destroyed at the end of each kalpa, or day of Brahma. The day of Brahma lasts a hundred, or is it a thousand, complete yuga cycles, which is a very long time, trillions of years. But at the end of his day, all the, the temporary planets in the impure creation are destroyed by the uh, by the pralaya. Pralaya means devastation. So then again, when Brahma wakes from his sleep, they're all created again. Uh, but the pure creation is never destroyed until the maha pralaya at the end of the duration of Brahma's hundred years of life. So if one day for Brahma is already trillions of years, a hundred years of his life is, you know, unfathomable amount of time. So by going to her world, this allows us to finish our self-realization and merge with the same joy <laughs> that she feels as the mother and queen of the universe. Uh, now, there, there was a book written by my Adi Guru way back in the 60s called Easy Journey to Other Planets. So if you're wondering how to, how to go to another planet, this little book, it's just a pamphlet, I don't know, 30 pages long, gives the secret. Basically, the secret is you worship the deity of that planet. And by that worship, you earn the right to take birth on that planet in your future life. So to go to the planet of the Universal Mother, you simply worship her. Offer her her prayer or some flowers, some water, incense, you know, and ultimately your whole self because she is your whole self. She created everything. She is the original mother who gave birth to all species of life. And from her, they have all been multiplying throughout the universe. So this is the universal mother. She um, is the sister of Lord Vishnu, or she plays as the sister of Lord Vishnu. Uh, as wife of Lord Shiva. And so we have to understand that Shiva and Vishnu are on the same level. The only difference is that Vishnu is the avatar of the mode of goodness, the sattva guna. So his worship is restricted by all kinds of rules and regulations. 
Shiva, he doesn't care <laughs> what mode you're in. He accepts everyone, whether in goodness or passion or ignorance. So this is why Lord Shiva is often portrayed as being surrounded by ghosts and demons. And he's uh, actually insulted by calling him the Lord of the mode of ignorance, which isn't true. He is actually transcendental to the modes. That's the whole point. And so is the mother. So is Devi. She is transcendental to the modes because she contains all of them within herself. And Shiva is the origin of this power. She is the power. He is the powerful. So by worshiping her, we acquire this power. And the power, the only power that matters really, is to transcend the modes of material nature and attain the transcendental state. Turiya. So we've been over this many times on this channel. And let's see what else. Um, she has created abundance. She has created, for example, all the arts and sciences. They're all coming from her. She is the original scientist, the original artist, huh? the original of everything, actually, because she is being itself, being and becoming, name and form, all come from her. All languages come from her. Originally, uh, Sanskrit. And Sanskrit, the, the alphabet of Sanskrit, the 51 letters, are known as the matrika. Ma, meaning mother, and trika, meaning like a matrix. So the matrix of the mother, or the womb of the mother, is the Sanskrit alphabet. Each letter has a distinct meaning, and we've gone over that in our series, Mysteries of the Matrika. So if you're curious about that, you should watch that. If you want to know how to do manifestation or how to change your consciousness through mantras, it's all because of the meaning of the Sanskrit words and letters. So what else? She takes our praise and she uses it to advance us in spiritual life. She is the path, the kula. She is kundalini, huh? the serpent power, the life energy, the very isness of everything that is, the meaning of meaning. Huh? So she is really the root cause of everything. Everything in this manifestation, everything in this universe, all the visible forms and the names that symbolize them are nothing but her. So naturally, when we praise her through these prayers, we feel joy <laughs> because this is really uh, the ultimate in this universe. And Shiva is the ultimate beyond this universe. And she, as our mother, wants to see us become self-realized and successfully approach Shiva and become like him. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.